You guys know this guy, Hit King. He's now got a bronze statue of his own. Pete Rose, several of his big red machine teammates will be there this afternoon at Great American Ballpark as the new statue is unveiled. A lot of hard work went into creating that flying head first slide. Local 12's Megan Moore joins us live now from GABP with a look at how it all came together. Good morning, Megan. Good morning, Adam, and it's right there behind this barrier here where you'll get to see the Hit King's new bronze statue. That's going to be unveiled at 1 o'clock this afternoon. Really cool. Pete Rose will be here along with several of his Big Red Machine teammates. Now, there was a lot of thought, hard work, and really genius engineering that went into creating Pete's famous flying headfirst slide. Tom Suchia, the sculptor and creator of the now eight red statues at Great American Ballpark, started with a small clay model application engineers with exact metrology and blue ash then scanned it and made a 3d digital model and they had to make the flying pete statue strong enough to hold up to fans who would inevitably climb on it so a ge engineer offered his expertise and designed a stainless steel base and skeleton that keeps pete aloft so strong it could hold up a car Tom Suchia talked about what it has been like to be part of making a one-of-a-kind statue. This one, of course, special for him because he's always been a Reds fan, and he knows this means a lot to Pete and Reds fans as well. I think it's something that, uh, you know, we Cincinnatians and the people in the uh, Reds country uh, can be very proud of. And I feel very proud to be part of something. We're doing some new and exciting things. And it's, uh, it's always something that's always a dream. If you, as an artist, always want to do something that pushes the limit. You want to do something new. You want to get do something different. And uh, so this is, this is uh, definitely a, a hit. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> and they're already down here setting up this morning. And of course, the street party is going to start at noon. If you want to come down early, then bailing will be at 1 o'clock. And then they're also going to have an on-field ceremony to celebrate the new statue and also Pete's career. And if you are one of the first 30,000 fans to come to the ballpark today, you will get a miniature replica of that statue to take home. And uh, again, then the, Ro uh, the Reds will take on the Dodgers at 410 this afternoon. I'll send it back to you, Adam. You know, Megan, I know they said you could put a car on top of the actual statue and it would support it. Probably not the case with the mini version, right? Probably not. I don't think this one will hold up. Safe to <laughs> it assume. is pretty heavy, though. Well, I mean, it's pretty substantial. First 30,000. All right. <laughs> hey, thanks, Megan. Sculptor Tom Suchia says the next statue will likely be of Hall of Fame shortstop Barry Larkin.